Here we go. We'll see if anybody join us today. Okay. All right, here we go. Nobody on yet. <laughs> here we go, Denise. Hello, Denise. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, gosh, we do have people today. I was wondering if anybody was going to show up today. Mm. All right, Pua, Leona. As you can see, we're not at uh, Team Mail headquarters today. It's still there, but I'm actually in the comfort of my own home. As you can see in the back, our little kitchen, little ice box with all the, oops, I gotta lean this way, with all the stickers and, and the magnets. And you can hear Patsy saying, don't show, don't show our small house. No, nope. I love this house. I love this house. 720 square feet, three bedroom, one bath, single wall. Been here for close to 30 years and, uh, and we love it. So. Anyway, uh, hey, aloha. Oh, we got a bunch of people today. Uh, Jenny, Faith, wow. Oh, hey, my pop's dad. Thanks for joining, dad. All the way from Seattle. John Yoshimura. Holy moly. This is going to be fun. This is, you see Patsy walking in the back. Yeah. Anyway, um, it'll be fun today because, I, hey, how's it, Pua? And uh, Auntie Millie. What's up, John? Boy, John, I tell you, boy, we have some memories, yeah? Anyway, uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun day today because we don't have, uh, uh, it's, we're not campaigning anymore. So we're just going to talk and see where this thing goes. I have no clue. We'll talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. I know there's, uh, uh, the transition has started uh, for the new administration, and, and that's going to be interesting as that thing unfolds. Uh, there's um, uh, a new council, pretty much a new council, three new members. So that's uh, all being worked on. Hey, Aloha, Larry. How are you doing, Michelle? Wow, we got a lot of people. Gosh, we have more people now than when we were campaigning. Um, hey, Marianne, Aloha, Belinda, Paul Poncho. Gosh, all the old faithfuls, the loyal, loyal troops. Um, anyway, yeah, so with the new transition, everybody's waiting. Everybody's excited. Everybody's asking me, man, what's going to happen? Who's going to be the new chair? Aloha, Derek. Aloha, my brother from another mother. Gosh, I haven't seen you in a while. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. You know, I'm not obviously not involved. Hi, Al Doy, nice to see you. Um, I'm not, you know, involved in the in the in the discussions, uh, and I, I don't know what's going to happen. But whatever it is, it's going to be interesting. And um, like you, I'm I'm anxiously awaiting uh, what what is in store for this county. So uh, it's going to be cool. Hey, Tino, aloha. Kaleo is Mel's campaign chair. Alrighty. Oh, okay. All right. I get Patsy over here. She's monitoring the comments just in case I miss uh, some of the comments because it's very hard to keep track. These things, these things move pretty quick. Um, so anyway, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens in the, in the next uh, couple of weeks. It'll be, like I said, a transition has occurred. And as I said in the last, uh, last week, you know, we wish the new administration well. And, uh, you know, what we got to do now is, is all work together and, 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 and make sure that the, uh, that we offer our services and, and wherever we can and help out. Uh, you know, we all, we all want the same thing, you know, we want a better Kauai. So uh, that's, that's the plan. So we're hoping that um, the transition is a smooth one and, and that uh, we, we should hear uh, ra rather shortly of uh, what's, what's going to happen. So anyway, what do you guys want to talk about? Uh, Derek reached out to you to join his admin key. Joel, aloha, Joel. I just saw you today at the UPS store. If you guys got any shipping needs, make sure you go to uh, UPS store, Kukui Grove. Great service. Oh, the the, the team. Uh, yeah, he did. He reached out, um, you know, and unfortunately, uh, you know, I, I uh, you know, uh, for what he offered, I financially just couldn't, couldn't uh, accept. So that's, uh, <laughs> that's where it stands right now. So, Yes, I'm in the market for a job, and uh, we'll see where that goes. I, I'm, we anxiously await the next opportunity. Uh, Larry, do you want your signs back, or should we hang on to them for 2022? No, you can. Uh, you can. Uh, we can pick it up. We're recycling the wood and uh, and actually uh, throwing away the signs. Uh, and we'll see. Hey, Leong Lim, awesome, awesome. Sherry Cummings, okay. Bobby, what's up, my man? So yeah, we'll see. It's an exciting time for Patsy and I. We're trying to figure out where we're going to go for our vacation, either Seattle or Oregon or somewhere in the middle. Our kids in Oregon, my dad uh, is in Seattle. So we're going to see where, where, uh, where we end up. 
Khalil Perez Jr. All right. Oh, gosh. A lot of people. A lot of people. Thanksgiving next week. I hope you guys all got your turkeys and, um, and getting ready for the holiday season. I can't believe it's like Christmas almost. And uh, it seems like it was just Christmas not long ago. Whoever gets to hire you will be very lucky. Oh, John, that's nice. That's nice. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I agree. <laughs> yeah, I just, you know, I want to work with kids. I want to work with the, the you know, I, I kind of want to stay out of the politics, but, um, you know, we, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I, I uh, we'll see. Um, I did, I meet with the retirement office at the end of the month. We'll see what, uh, what options I have there. Uh, I really never been in this situation before. Um, you know, and, and uh, oh, look at this, John. Look, look at this, Patsy. John Yoshimura, oh, you can see the comment. Riding in a bullet train going to Fukuoka. Hmm, to watch. Hey, you know, John, when I grew up, I want to be just like you. Uh, I'll never forget the uh, basketball game, man, at the, at, at the D.C., Washington uh, basketball. And, and that was my first professional basketball game. And and you got us the the suite, or whatever you call it, the box. And um, I was, uh, they let all these, they dropped these T-shirts from the ceiling or from the roof. And I was catching all the T-shirts and a lady uh, below me looked up and started swearing at me and said, what, are you going to keep all those shirts? <laughs> it, was, it was hilarious. Uh, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. So, yeah, a lot of memories, a lot of memories. Uh, 14 years on the county council, have been through all kinds of stuff. And uh, now as we look back and reflect on, on um on the on what we what we were able to accomplish and and just the joy the, the fun the the you know we had good times bad times and uh, rough times but at the end of the day when when I look back at our career <clears throat> um you know there was a lot of things that's happened and and most of what I've forgotten uh, you know it was a job where I went to work and I, I took my job seriously and now since uh now that it has ended. You know, I'm getting a lot of comments, and I want to thank everybody for their well wishes and the comments that that's still coming in today, uh, till today, and and uh, reminding me of things that I had done in the past that I had already forgotten. But uh, it was just rewarding. It was a great, great 14 years. And like I said, you know, my family allowed me to do that. My my wife Patsy and the, and the two kids allowed me to serve this community. So I'm I'm so thankful uh, for 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 them for allowing me to do it and then of course for all of you uh that that allowed me to serve for so long and uh you know you you wonder what what would happen if there were term limits would i be on the council again i don't know i mean you know the island is changing and um and we you know we all got to come together and we all got to work together you know so much hate and 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 uh you know our newspaper really garden island newspaper really doesn't help the cause you know they, they print stuff that incites people incites anger uh and i don't know why you know rather than than uh, print about the positives and and how we can all work together to 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 reach you know uh the goals and objectives that would benefit everyone but no they choose to go out and and print uh articles and, and letters and uh op-eds that really get people angry and i wish that would stop i really wish we had a newspaper on Kauai that that uh tommy rita coach how's it going how's it going francisco uh that would really work with the community and and try try and join and bring everybody in and and again work for the common goal so uh maybe that'll happen one day i wish i had money i would i would start a newspaper on the island and have a, have a real newspaper you know that that actually prints news you know and uh, wouldn't that be a change how did the affordable housing hearing go today for Bill 2725? It was a public hearing today, so it'll come in committee next week. Um, you know, I, I, I think that that's uh, it's a bill that Councilman Yukimura and I is uh, going to, I mean, we co-sponsored it. And it's really what it is, is if, if there's any project, affordable housing project that the county or your taxpayers' money or the county puts out, that it would remain affordable uh, forever. I think it's a great bill, uh, and I'm hoping that will pass. Uh, we won't. Joanne and I will be off the council when that thing comes for final votes. So I encourage all of you to make sure you let them know. Uh, it's a great bill. Um, this doesn't involve private developers. This is specifically for projects that are county sponsored, taxpayer sp paid for by taxpayers, that it should, in fact, stay affordable for the, for, in perpetuity. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of people say, well, that's not fair. They don't, they won't, the, the owners, you know, will be locked in. Well, no, it's a choice. If you want to buy a county affordable housing, home then then you agree that if you sell you sell back to the county and it's not a money-making opportunity 
it is specifically to provide inventory forever and it's a great bill and i thank joanne actually uh, for crafting it and asking me to co-sponsor and of course i did because i think it's a good bill if the garden island is going to publish the new hires and admins some people are going to be upset well i don't you know i'm not sure when those names are going to come out i know that today was the last day for anyone that was interested in working in the uh, Kawakami administration today at 4.30 was the last, was the deadline for <clears throat> uh, resumes to be submitted. So uh, we'll, Randy Iwase, another blast from the past. Aloha, Randy. Gosh, well, I'm honored for you to be on this show. It is not a show, but it's whatever. I guess it is a show. <laughs> Maybe it's my new career. Um, but thank you for joining us, Randy and Eric and Brian, my brother from the Big Island, uh, love you, Brian, Irene, and Tori as well. Oh man, great! Uh, yeah, so I, I would I would assume that uh, the new administration probably will be unveiled sometime next week. I would guess uh, inauguration is on December third, so uh, we'll know it by then. We'll know hopefully. Uh, so I'm I'm anxious as well. I'm curious to see um, what's going to happen. Uh, you know, are we going to get some new uh, leaders, new department heads? I, I don't know. Uh, and uh, we, we, that's something we're just going to have to wait and see. Uh, one of the things that I had openly discussed was that there was going to be some some changes in the administration. Uh, and aren't you going to Portugal with the mayor? No, I, did. I was invited, um, but I opted not to go. Um, I just didn't think it was right. Uh, and after discussing it with Patsy, we felt it wouldn't be right for us to go to Portugal when I'm uh, heading out. Uh, my term was ending. So, yeah, we chose not to go. I would have loved to go. Uh, I've never been to Portugal. In fact, they went to, or they're there right now, and they're, they're visiting the two islands, Madeira and the Azores, that uh, my family, both sides come from. So, you know, I uh, would love to go, but that's something we're going to have to one day, bucket list, bucket list, but it's expensive to get over there. And, and uh, But, yeah, we, we chose not to go. Maybe talk radio. Yeah, I would love that. I think, you know, I did have a talk show once on Kong Radio in a Friday morning drive, and that was fun, fun, fun. Uh, um, and maybe, maybe, maybe that's something we can do. Are the taxpayers paying for that? Well, the county is paying for uh, part of the delegation. I don't know the breakdown. I don't know uh, who uh, who got paid for. I'm, I'm sure <coughs> county officials were paid for. Uh, the trip was paid for, but spouses and and whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that they had paid uh, paid that on their own. Um, if I mean, in my case, uh, the county would have paid for my my trip but uh patsy i would have had to we would have to pay for our patsy if she went so miley a Singh, the daughter of my mentor kaipo aloha miley and anthony mangan wow man these guys i haven't seen for miley i haven't seen her for i don't know decades um man i tell you miley your dad is a great man that's all i got to say um you know i meant it when i said it that he was my mentor i haven't seen uh, kaipo in a very long time and uh this is a great man. So, and of course, you're a great daughter. Miley and I went to school. She's a little younger, but um, we're, we're really good friends. L oh gosh, Leo, jeez, you guys got from out of the woodwork. You guys are coming. Gosh, Carly, amazing. Oh, Carly and Ike. Um, yeah. So, yeah, uh, we'll see what happens uh, as we move forward. Like I say, in the next week, we should have a better idea of what the new administration is going to look like. Um, you know, <coughs> I can only hope that that. Um, you know, we move forward. That, that's, that's, I guess, the bottom line, moving forward, working on our issues, uh, traffic issues and, and housing issues. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities uh, for affordable housing projects right now that the mayor has direct uh, control of. And, and, and most importantly, the one that uh, I'm talking about is the ability to uh, designate um, parcels of land as uh, um, not experimental, but there's another term that they use that basically will allow a nonprofit or an affordable housing developer to come in and um, move forward without getting uh, permits. It would be, it'd be exempt or waived. Um, it still would be subject to the inspections and following the codes, but uh, to get these houses up right away and with what's out there in the way of uh, tiny homes or uh, prefab homes, it's become an industry in itself. So. Uh, there's many opportunities. Uh, there's five acres in Lihui right now that if, if the mayor was to authorize that site um, and we could get the R40 designation, we could put up 200 homes. And uh, relatively quickly, if we move forward with those um, those types of uh, little homes or smaller homes. And again, this house is 720 square feet. We raised a family in this house. So, you know, an 800 square foot uh, prefab home 
would not cost that much. And in fact, you could put it up. So I'm, I'm hoping that we move in that direction. Like I said in the campaign, the, the time for talking is over and it's time for doing. And uh, we, need to, we need to really expedite uh, getting some homes built as soon as possible. Um, Stanford Carr is the developer out of Honolulu. He, he, you know, he won't come over here because the, um, the process, it just takes too long. Um, you know, so hopefully that'll, that'll change uh, with the new administration. Did the county buy the land behind the airport a few years ago? I'm not aware, Larry, of which, uh, um, what, you, what property are you talking about? I, I, we didn't purchase any land, I can tell you, as long as I, the, the one land, uh, the one parcel was the parcel from A&B that we purchased where Limaola is being built right now, where we're moving forward. But aside from that, we haven't purchased, not to my knowledge. Um, so we'll see. Shaka Rides. Aloha Shaka Rides. If you guys don't know Shaka Rides, he was my Uber driver or Lyft driver. I think it was Uber. And this guy is amazing. He, 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 he drives Uber in Oahu and uh, he stops. He comes out. He takes a picture of you doing a Shaka and he posts it right up on Facebook and Instagram. And um, I haven't forgot that Shaka. I never got to, to ride with you again, but uh, I, I definitely, <laughs> you by, by far the best Uber driver I've ever had. Uh, no doubt about it. John Yushimura, right on. Same to you, buddy. Um, hopefully we get together soon. Robin, Chinan, Christy, Norman. Oh, gosh, we got a bunch of people on today. So any questions, you guys? Any questions or comments? Um, you know, uh, again, um, two more council meetings, and then it's over uh, for myself, Joanne, and, and Derek. And and then we, uh, the, the, new, the new chapter begins. And uh, again, we're hoping that, uh, you know, some positive change is made and, and we get to uh, have a, a better quality of life for our residents. You know, I, we talk about the tourism lately a lot and uh, and yet, you know, we've we got to really focus on our residents. And uh, yeah, we love the tourist industry. We love the visit industry. They are our backbone uh, of the economy. But nonetheless, we, we cannot compromise uh, the quality of life for our residents. I just cannot. I mean, it's just something that, you know, yes, he, we, we're not going to sacrifice uh, our, our, uh, our, our residents here on Kauai uh, just so we can get more tourist dollars uh, that the state keeps anyway. Um, so, you know, we just got to be cognizant of that and, and really make, it, make a conscious effort, um, conscious effort to take care of our residents. Uh, I mean, that's just the way it has to be. And I think we as citizens, and as taxpayers, uh, we, we need to hold our, our leaders accountable to that. Um, Marianne, please keep Facebook Live going. Well, as long as you guys are here, I'll be here. Uh, I'm actually pretty excited that we got as many um, viewers on today that we do. I was telling Patsy, I wonder if anybody's going to show up today. So thank you, guys. Uh, you know, we, can, we can have a lot of fun with this. Um, hey, Angie, Sammy, Chris, Mel, another classmate, Mel, Dr. Laro, the only other Melvin I know. Uh, yeah, two Melvins in the whole school, Melvin Dr. Lero and Melvin Raposa. And if you look at his name, he changed his name to Mel as well. Aloha, bro. Never see you for a long time. Too. Right now, I should feature your opinion letters. You know, I, I'm not a really good writer. I'm a much better speaker. I can, I can speak my mind when I, when I start getting on a computer and start typing something. I get lost in it, and, and then I, I tend to uh, ramble. So uh, I love this format. I love this, um, this, this medium. The, the Facebook Live works well. Uh, and, and, you know, we'll see. We'll keep it going as long as you guys want to, to listen to me talk. Uh, I wish we had a two-way communication. That's why the talk radio would actually be pretty cool. Because um, Daniel Hamada, holy moly, gosh. Hello, Daniel. That's uh, another uh, huge contributor to the community that um, we appreciate what you do, Danny. Uh, or Mr. Hamada, sorry. Robert Kramer, Jr., aloha, aloha. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Christmas, Christmas, Thanksgiving. Hey, what are you guys doing for Thanksgiving? Anybody? Uh, you know what? I don't like turkey. It's it's like really interesting. I don't really like turkey. Um, Stacy Castillo Sepulveda. You know he's a. I think that's yeah. That is the my friend, the Uber driver he, on Kauai. I've never had him either, but uh, I know he's driving Uber on Kauai. How far did we get on the disabled vet property tax exemption revision? Not far, Larry. Uh, you know, sent something across, and um, you know, we'll try to see if we can can get that started as well before we, we leave office. Anything we start now could not uh, we would not get be able to get done. And you know, at some point, there's there's uh, 
we got to let the new council take over, and and that is what uh, what the plan is. But you know, I definitely will pursue that, Larry. I think our vets deserve it, and uh, we'll see. What is your next step, Robert? I don't know. Um, that 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 future is unknown. That's the exciting part of this right now. The Baronies are here. All right, welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's like I say, it's pretty exciting for me right now. I'll show you Turkey. There we go. There we go. That might change my mind about Turkey if you put some show you Turkey. I did have a uh, uh, deep fried turkey once. Bobby Tamura, uh, retired police officer, you know, that was like the best turkey I've ever had. And um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, so getting back to Robert. Robert, I know I kind of answered that earlier, but uh, hey, Sean, how you doing, buddy? Charles Crowder, holy moly, all the way from the mainland. You know, that's uh, Papuana days, man. How you doing, Charles? Awesome. Gosh, well, you guys make me feel good. Uh, yes, Robert, I don't know. Uh, you know, we talked about it before the before the election. We, we said we put everything in God's hands, and uh, when one door closes, another one opens. So we'll wait and see and what door opens, and, and we decide to see if I enter it. Um, but it is, it is exciting. It is, it is an exciting time for us. Uh, it really feels like a, a lot of uh, weight was lifted off, and yet as I, as I look at the issues, uh, you know, it's kind of like bittersweet because I want to be involved. And I still will be involved, uh, you know, but in some capacity. Um, so we'll see what happens. We'll see. When is the state going to take care of the huge population of parakeets? Guess what? They're, <laughs> they're doing a study on how we can take care of the parakeets. I mean, really. I mean, I love animals, but these, these little birds are, are creating havoc on our farmers, lychee farmers and, and, and uh, flowers and, and other fruits. So uh, I, I, what do you do? I mean, you know, you got to exterminate them and... Uh, I guess they're trying to figure out what's the most, the, the best way. I don't know. Um, tell Patsy to make it in the pot in her shoyu turkey recipe. <laughs> I think he's talking about the parakeets. <laughs> you know, I, I, maybe, they're, maybe, they're, maybe they're good food. I don't know. <laughs> Robert, you go catch me one and clean them all nice because I don't do that. Uh, and then I'll have Patsy. I'll, I will try it. I will try it. I, I, I will try it. You know, I eat some strange stuff in my life. And I think those parakeets, imagine if we find out that those parakeets are good tasting, we wouldn't have a parakeet problem. Uh, we would. Emu turkey. You know what, Larry? You're right. You're right. I, I, I guess I, I misspoke earlier. I did have emu turkey and um, it is delicious. So, yeah, I forgot about that. I did. It's just I don't have an emu. <laughs> so it's kind of rough. Prime rib, not turkey. Sherry, you know Mel Raposo well because uh, we just had this discussion last night. Um, we were at Waipoli Restaurant. We were invited uh, to Waipoli Restaurant with some friends, and and uh, we were talking about <laughs> Thanksgiving. And I and I said, you know, last year Thanksgiving we went to a friend's house, um, and they had prime rib and they had turkey. And guess what? I went for the prime rib. Uh, I love prime rib. Um, and I'm a, I'm a connoisseur, and uh, Patsy will tell you, when we sit down at a restaurant, she waits for that first bite, and if it's a bad prime rib, then it's going to be a bad evening. But if it's a good, and I got to tell you, Kauai, we got some great restaurants that serve great prime ribs, so, and I'm not going to sit there and, and uh, critique them, but I can tell you, you all know. You all know where the good ones are. Um, bounty on the birds. Let our hunters have them. Yeah, well, I think, I think that's what they're trying to figure out. I don't know how much they're spending on this study, but uh, unfortunately, you know, they're 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 causing a problem, and uh, they need to be dealt with. And uh, so that's something that we got to watch and make sure our state um, pursues. You know, we do a lot of studies that end up on a shelf, and uh, you know, I hope that's one study that uh, that, that they're going to act on. You know, the farmer's market, they sell the lychee. And, and, and I saw this lady that's selling the, the lychee at the farmer's market. She took a video. Um, and it was really cute how this bird, the parakeet, holds the lychee, you know, and, and eats it just like this is awesome, awesome. But, you know, they need to sell those lychees, not give them away to the birds. So thank you for all that you have done for the island of Kauai. May God bless you. Oh, thanks, Miley. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. I get one emu too. Okay, you guys all get emus. Are you? Oh, bring your turkey. Okay, boy, we're gonna take a turkey to Tom. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna put him in the emu. Are you, are you? I'm gonna call you on that, bro. I'm gonna call you on that, and then we'll report the findings on Facebook Live the week after. How's that? Uh, use the taxpayer mon money to pay the hunters. Well, and again, that comes down to the bounty. Yeah, we got a problem with pigs too. 
that that's that's tearing apart a lot of farms uh and these farmers are going now they gotta they gotta really uh, fortify their lots and their properties because the pigs are getting in and you can only you can only get rid of so many pigs and and uh so we gotta we gotta be really careful these invasive you know you got invasive species you got invasive invasive animals and it's really uh causing some problems for our local farmers so um they're, they're, we really got to put together a, a plan on, <clears throat> and it's all part of, of the ag, agriculture uh, preservation, you know, and we talked about this during the campaign that we needed, we have an ag specialist that we used to have an ag specialist that was part of the economic development office. And that property was, uh, was, I mean, that position was removed. So uh, that position needs to be put back. And that's the kinds of things that um, I'm hoping that the administration, the new administration will look at because it's vital that we we take care of our our small farmers you know local farmers that are are uh, growing their their crops to 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 live and to to you know feed their families and so yeah we gotta we gotta really pay attention to that uh, a lot of pigs up in upper wailua they're everywhere i mean they're you know we live in in the house lots and they come all the way down into the subdivision and uh we see them quite often on the on the roads and it's uh, it's dangerous and then not and in addition to tearing up everybody's uh, backyard farms, um, you know, they, they cause a hazard to the people that's driving as well. So, um, pigs, chickens, cats, parakeets. Yeah, the, we got a zoo. We got a, <laughs> we got a natural zoo right here on Kauai. Mm, chickens. I love the chickens, though. I got to tell you, I love the chickens. Uh, I think those things are beautiful. They, uh, they eat centipedes. As you know, I am deadly afraid of centipedes. There's one thing that... Uh, whew, I found one just the other day in his kitchen, and and uh, um, you know we don't get many centipedes here, and I, I almost had a heart attack, and my my lightning quick reflexes, I grabbed the chair and I slammed the the leg of the chair right on the centipede, and Patsy said, "Well, go throw it away." I said, "I ain't touching it. Let him let just let him die under the chair. It ain't gonna go anywhere." And then, of course, you know, I came home and she said, "Now the centipede is gone. And I looked, oh, God, it was gone. I was just about to make reservations at the hotel because I ain't staying in a house with a centipede. And she said, no, 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 it was dead, and I threw it away. So, uh, for, oh, Rileen Wa'alani, all the way from Chicago, uh, up there for a conference. Uh, I hope you're enjoying yourself. It's cold in Chicago, the windy city. Um, I hope you're having a ball. I hope you're having a ball. Uh, yeah, so centipedes, I don't like chickens. Eat centipedes, so I love chickens. Uh, someone just told me that the, the geckos, the, I mean, the, the, the green chameleons or the, whatever they are with the red spots eat centipedes too. So um, we, we got a ton of them here, and uh, I love those too. Anything that eats centipedes is my friend. Um, it's the cold weather. That's why they come out. Uh, yeah, well, whatever it is, um, I want them to go back and – we got oh toads too you're right i love toads i love toads yes if I, there was a way i could raise toads in my my yard i would because i love anything that eats centipedes um it's a friend of mine uh that's i'm not scared of many things but that's one thing that uh, uh it's not just i'm it's like a, it's a, like a phobia it's like a it, it i cannot function with a centipede i i don't know what it is i never got bit by one uh, I don't know what it is. I mean, it was one, it was deployed and, and when I was in the garden, we were at some airfield and I was in the tent and, and I stuck my, uh, uh, my put my boots on and then I felt something crawling up my, we, back then we had those BDUs and, and I felt something crawling up my leg. So I reached and I squeezed it with, and so right through the pants and I, ha I had them in my hand. And I kind of figured out what it was because we were, we were where we were where we were deployed. There were a lot of centipedes, so um, I cut the pants off. I cut the pants off, and sure enough, it was a centipede that was in the in my thing. And whew, not good. Uh, you know, it just it just ruins my day. Ed Phillips, gosh, buddy, how you doing, man? How you doing? How's them Patriots? Uh, you, I, I, if I remember correctly, you're like a hardcore Patriots fan, and um, I think they lost Sunday. <laughs> anyway, uh, gosh. Hey, Bethany, how are you? How are you doing? Angela, Miley, Freitas, all oh, wonderful, wonderful. What are you going to do, Bethany? We just had a short discussion about the Garden Island newspaper. I posted on your, uh, your, your page that you were the most balanced uh, uh, writer that I had, had uh, seen in a long, long, long time. 
and uh, it's sad that you are no longer with the Garden Island, but hopefully something uh, something else will come up and um, utilize your talents because uh, you're a great writer, great, great writer, and uh, appreciate it. You know, I, uh, again, I, I'm not a real big fan of, of the media, um, especially the Kauai media, because they tend to uh, take me out of context and, you know, really create uh, – drama and bethany was i can honestly say in all the stories and all the interviews that she had had with me bethany was very fair she was uh, very uh, unbiased her stories were accurate and uh we're gonna miss bethany at the garden island so anyway um looking for bigger and better things don't like those bigs their bites oh yeah i i, I don't i don't want to even let's just stop talking about centipedes because I'm, I'm scratching already it's like whoa Ah, uh, all right, Bethany. Don't worry about it. We'll pray for you. And uh, again, I, I'm I, I'm sure bigger and better things will will come. Uh, please keep us on email and tell us when your testimony is needed for county and state stuff. I will. I mean, I think we'll we'll keep everybody uh, in in the loop. And I think Facebook Live is a great way of doing that. And Facebook in general, social media in general, uh, we got to work up. You know, um, trying to get trying to get the word out on on the key issues on the key issues. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be spending all my life uh, watching over what the council does, but I will. I will be involved with on the bigger issues. I, I think. I think. Uh, you know, we can continue to help this county um, by paying attention and staying engaged. So yeah, if anything major comes up, uh, we'll definitely let everybody know, and uh, we'll work together. We'll, we'll, we'll work together, and and um, you know. Again, holding people accountable, I think, is, is where it's at. Ron Victorino, all the way from Texas, all the way from Austin. I think it's Austin. Um, I, many of you know Ron. He was, the, he, was the, he was with the Otsukas for many, many years. He, he and his friend, I think his name was Jeff, on uh, un, Untimely Death. Jeff, uh, Jeff passed away. But Ron and Jeff would have those radio commercials uh, on Otsukas. How many of you remember that? You know, that was, that was fun times. But... Yeah, a lot of people didn't know that, but uh, Ron, Ron and I um, are first cousins. His mom and my dad are brother sisters, and um, some people thought that we looked alike, and I didn't think so. Ron, Ron's much better looking, and but I was in Seven Eleven one day. I don't think I even told Ron this story, but I was in Seven Eleven one day and paying for my coffee, and this lady that was in front of me said, "Hey, uh, I'm sorry, I I didn't show up yesterday." Um, uh, you're going to still give me the same deal? And I didn't know what she was talking about. And I said, what, what deal? And she said, the bed, the bed. I said, the bed? She goes, yeah, you told me you was, uh, had 25% off. I said, listen, if you get up there today before we close, I will give you 50% off. And she was so excited and she took off. And I'm not sure if she went over there and saw my cousin. But, uh, Ron, if, if some lady went up, and uh, told you that you told her she had a 50% discount. That was me. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. Anyway, hey, Nephi, Laurie, Stephanie. Uh, where are you, Rob Mura? Um, where are you? Montana. Are you in Montana? Like Ponderosa Pines, Montana? Oh, gosh. That is freezing, man. Why would you go to? Is he living up there? Holy moly! Awesome, man. Yeah, my wife is. She she knows everything, you know. So if if I have a question, I know the answer. I just ask her first. But uh, well, I, I gotta tell you, Montana. Yeah, you're right. He's in Montana. I actually drove through Montana once. Me and Leon Gonzalez uh, we had to go do an extradition, pick up a, a prisoner from uh, Spokane, and we drove through Idaho, went through Montana. Beautiful country, beautiful country, but. Uh, I've never been there during the winter, so I can only imagine how cold it is. Uh, and whew, not for me, not for me. I love, I love it here, nice and warm, nice and warm. So who's going to go to the Super Bowl this year? Um, is it the Rams? Is it the Patriots? Uh, I, I really want to see. Chime in. I'm curious, you know. Um, um, the Steelers, how's the Steelers? 52 points or whatever it was last week. Man, they, they look like the old Steelers. And that was uh, that was nice to see finally because they were struggling early on. Um, but anyway, obviously I'm a football fan. I got a, I got like a, a ton of mini helmets all autographed. Each NFL team, each each one of them autographed. And a Patriots, Raylene. Anyway, 
uh, and it's in my council office, and I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get it out of there, and I don't know where I'm gonna put it because we have no room in this house. So I, I, I don't know if anybody wants to buy a complete set NFL mini helmets autographed. Every team we got college teams. We got uh, my pop Warner ones. No, I'm keeping those. They mean everything to me. But the NFL ones can go. And and um, I even got remember the XFL. I don't know if you guys remember the XFL. I was uh, the WWE professional wrestling owner, started his own football league many years ago. So I have all those helmets as well. Um, they came with ice cream in them. Mm. It's hard when you look at comments because I don't know what comment that is referring to. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know what that, that, that comes from. But anyway, so what else is on your mind? That, that's going to be... Um, the challenge on Facebook Live is what do we talk about, you know, because there's just so much. Uh, what's going on in the news? What's going on in the news? Um, you know, we can talk about the real pro. Oh, the helmets. <laughs> uh, no ice cream. No, no, no ice cream. Nope. Rams, NFC, and who knows the AFC. Okay. Yeah, Rams look good. Rams look really good. Um, Gurley's probably the best running back uh, in the league right now. I mean, he's, he's tough. And, but uh, it's just a fun, fun, fun season fun season and, and it's going to be a fun uh playoffs and it's going to be uh, probably an awesome super bowl so I, maybe now i can get to a super bowl i don't know we'll see um oh the fires oh my gosh man i tell you ed yeah you sure you from california god our prayers go out to those people i saw a picture on facebook today of all the firefighters just laying on the ground sleeping because they they work 24-hour shifts and you know, we, we deal with hurricanes and, and we deal with, uh, you know, the, the little floods. And, and yes, it, it causes some major, major, major damages and inconveniences. But, um, man, what's going on in California is, is incredible. And, again, we really got to really gotta say our prayers, send our prayers out uh, to all of those people. Um, I cannot imagine what that is like. Can you imagine all of the children, the kids, the young ones that just, uh, how do you explain what's going on and packing everything up, getting getting out of there and, and relocating and, um, oh gosh, yeah. So prayers out to, to California and, and the wildfires. It's, uh, gosh. Anyway, uh, I don't know, Larry, if anybody's starting a GoFundMe, you know, um, you know, I, I, I'm really weary, leery about the GoFundMes. Uh, a lot of people take advantage of that and they, create these funds and, and the money never gets to where it, it should go. You know, I would probably, I'm sure there's funds uh, or, or uh, organizations that's in California that are uh, spearheading some, some fundraising drives. I would, you know, more than, I, I would go seek that out first. I would not trust a GoFundMe on Facebook. Um, I just wouldn't do it. Uh, yeah, I'm sure there's there's agencies that are, that are much better places to put your money. Um, that it's it's just a shame, you know. GoFundMe, <clears throat> uh, how people abuse that. So, Kale Kawi, how are you, Marlo? Uh, or oh, Mario? I'm sorry, Mario. Hey, Kale, I got to see a couple of your uh, Facebook lives as well. Um, fine job. I saw your mom the other day, and I'm just so impressed with your your intellect, your articulation, and I just enjoy uh watching your 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 session so keep up keep it up man i tell you what this is one great way to uh to get the word out and get the message out hey nolani and arnold thank you for joining us ed if you can find out for us uh you just shoot me an email or a text or give me a buzz um let me know uh and and we'll definitely spread that around here uh we'll post it out um i'm sure there's 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 a uh uh credit union or a bank or someone that's uh, maintaining the, the donation. So yeah, please, if you, if you uh, can find out for us, Ed, we'd appreciate it. Ed is out there in California. There's my wife, Patsy, walking in the back, about ready to go. Cook dinner. I don't know what we're having tonight. Not turkey though. <laughs> Why was the vet day parade in Kapa this year? I um, mean, it was always in Kapa and then uh, it was moved to Lihui. And the turnout wasn't as good. And, you know, they really, there's no businesses in, in the Hui along the path. There's very few. Uh, so the Kapa Business Association, uh, you know, decided that they wanted to see it back in Kapa. And I, 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 as someone that's participated in that parade for, for many, 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 many years, I can tell you that the, the participation is much higher in uh, Kapa'a. And um, so that's why. That's why. Aloha, Randy. 
Thanks for joining us. Kimo Rosen, Roger, Dodger, and Khalil. Awesome. Yeah, so I, I, I think it's better better in Kapa'a. And, and so we'll see. We'll see if that, that I'm, I'm sure it will continue to be in Kapa'a. It was a great parade, by the way. I enjoy the parade. And, uh, you know, Veterans Day is, is such a, a, an important day. And, you know, Veterans Day, um, Veterans Day is really to honor the troops. You know, we have Memorial Day, which is the day we honor uh, our fallen troops and the troops that are no longer with us. And Veterans Day is for all veterans. Um, the question is, why is that limited? I mean, I can appreciate the one-day holiday, but yet it's not just a holiday. And why are we not? Napa, how are you? Why are we not? Uh, that should be celebrated all year long. I mean, our veterans are, uh, you know, Larry. I, I, forgive me if I don't remember all the names in here, but I know Larry uh, is a veteran. Uh, Larry Arruda, and thank you all. All of you veterans that are on this session, um, Thank you for your service. You know, and a lot of you went to combat, and uh, we thank you and we appreciate appreciate what you what you've done. So yeah, we'll see. What, I think it'll it'll probably be uh, remaining kapa, which is a good thing, which is a good thing. Napa, aloha, brother Mel. Yes, Napa. Uh, I saw you go out the other day on your kayak uh, fishing, and it didn't take long, man. You got a nice big papio and. Um, I don't know how heavy that thing was, but it was a nice, nice papillo. So um, maybe I got to go out with you one day. I may have to go out with you. And I still, you know, I, I've never caught a papillo that big. You know, I caught the little ones, you know, the, the, you know, the legal legal size, but no, not not the big one. So, um, yeah, I got to get out with you one day and uh, show me the ropes and how to do that. Um, so, Raylene, you're in Chicago and Napa, you are in... Um, Kekaha, or wherever you're at. Maybe you're in your kayak somewhere, but uh, you guys miss each other, I'm sure. I see the two hearts and the little square, so um, I'm glad you guys can communicate here on, on Facebook Live. Uh, what really caused the ruptured sewer main in Wailua that created a nightmare for traffic? Uh, we're going to find out next week, Wednesday, Larry. It's the first item on the agenda. Uh, Ross, uh, Ross uh, Kagawa was not happy and it, I guess apparently was not happy with the responses that he had gotten. So that's going to be on the agenda next week in the roster's committee. We're going to find out what, what caused it and what we can do to make sure that doesn't happen again. Uh, you know, again, we talked about it all throughout the campaign that, you know, our infrastructure is, is old. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's deteriorating and, and the, old, the longer we wait, the, the, the worse it'll get. So, it is what it is, you know. We gotta, we gotta put more effort. And again, it's hard, you know. You run your campaign on infrastructure repairs. It's not as attractive as running a campaign with, with the nice stuff and the fluff. And uh, the people are gonna have to wake up and real, realize that we gotta fix what is broken, and we need to do that now. Um, and the fluff has to wait. Um, yeah, it's just the way it has to be. Um, and we, as a, as the, as the citizens, as the taxpayers. We need to embrace that, and we need to we need to accept that, and making sure that uh, we're not being obstacles to the to the county for moving forward on these repairs. I mean, it, we are it's it's a mess. It, it, it is truly a mess. Um, lack of maintenance. You know, I mean, there's it's I, I don't know how you maintain a sewer line. I mean, we should be going through there with cameras regularly, um, and and making sure that there's no. Uh, signs of of excessive wear and then going in and doing the repairs uh, it's pretty clear that we haven't done that because uh, uh something happened um, so we'll see what happens um here we go jay the pipes uh, jay old infrastructure the pipes and manholes are deteriorated spent three days and nights thanks jay and all your crew i mean you guys got that thing fixed i know a lot of people thought it took forever but for what was what what you guys needed to do and for it to be done that quick uh you guys did a great job, uh, and, and my hat's off to you and everyone that was out there throughout the day and throughout the night getting that pipe fixed so we could resume our normal patterns of uh, driving. So thank you very much, Jay, and uh, I, I don't know who was out there, so if you could sh you know, share all of our mahalos to your team uh, that was out there um, because it was, it was an incredible job that needed to be done. It was done uh, relatively quickly, in my opinion. I had expected that to take a little longer, so I was very pleased. Um, Kimo, I joined late. Have you met with Derek yet about any future possibilities? I did meet with Derek. Um, uh, the offer that he had given me was something that I couldn't financially accept. So uh, I'm, I'm uh, formally 
in uh, on the job market. <laughs> Kushni Construction, Roger, thank you for that. I'll, I'll make sure I call uh, call them call them up and and uh, relay my mahalos. That was awesome, awesome job. Ivan, Ricky, and Joyce and Julie, thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, I mean, I was again, that was a big big job. I mean, that was a huge uh, undertaking, and um, hopefully that woke some people up that we gotta pay attention and we gotta. You know, in the military, we had preventive maintenance. We had, um, we had, that was like a, a, a really huge function. Uh, I was in maintenance, so I, I, you know, I know what, um, what, how, how it should run. Uh, we had corrosion control. Um, we had, you know, we had, in the military, we have checklists that everything is based on a schedule and, um, and, it, and it's followed. And our equipment lasts forever in the military because because of the the, the preventive maintenance and uh, what they call PMs. You know, we had we had books of PMs that we'd, we'd follow every single piece of equipment, whether it was a truck or a a, a radio. Um, it didn't matter. Every single piece of equipment, and Larry, I think you can appreciate this, um, had had a PM, a PM schedule, and and they were very strict about it. And uh, I mean, I, you know, I was a cable guy, so you know, we have to sand and we had cable reels, you know, those big, big cable reels. We have to unroll the cables, sand all the cable reels, the rust, and paint it all up and then re-roll the cables back. We hated that, but we, it had to be done. You know, those cable reels last forever uh, because we properly maintain them. Um, that is what is lacking here in, in, in the county. And we need to truly focus on that uh, because if not it's just it's just a, it's a pit that keeps getting deeper and deeper and deeper um yeah jay you're right the weakest link will fail uh sooner or later and you know when you get a a, a break like that then you know um you're going to get more um because that 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 pipe is all the same age it's the same doo-doo that flowed through it so the chances are is we're gonna you know we're gonna see more of those if we don't we don't fix it um takes a lot of money unless you do what civil beat is doing and just publish online no hard print edition oh this is for the paper yeah i wish like, i wish i knew how to start a paper huh. um it's called routine preventive maintenance yeah the city i worked for in Cali had a great system that was a regular schedule yeah i mean it's you know you everything you buy comes with uh a maintenance schedule or, or you know i'm talking about the larger pieces of equipment and um, those pipes, I mean, those pipes come with, the, the, the manufacturers come up with, you know, recommended inspections, and we just don't do it. And that's something that we, you know, our county engineer is the one that needs to, to have that kind of knowledge. That you, you don't set it and forget it like that oven on TV. No, 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 no. You got to make sure that that equipment, I don't care if it's infrastructure, if it's, if it's a truck or what, um, that we get the most use out of it. And uh, you're not going to get it if we're not doing preventive maintenance. Uh, again, something as simple as that. It just was not being done. There we go, Beatles. I remember watching you guys unwind and wind those cables. Yeah, Beatles. You know, it was in a hot mana sun. Man, I hated that. I hated that. Uh, exactly, Larry. What county engineer? We don't have one. We haven't had a county engineer in a long time. Mason Chalk, welcome aboard, my friend. Welcome aboard, and Carol Cummings as well, and Sandy, my sister, Raja. It's a family affair. We got my dad, we got my brother on the big island, we got my sister from Kapa, Awailua. Uh, my, only my brother is not my younger brother, I mean, I'm my older brother because he doesn't have Facebook, Gerald. Um, but yeah, welcome everybody. Shah Ali Ahmad, the guy made my suit. This guy is uh, an amazing tailor, and uh, thanks for that suit. That, that thing is. Uh, Spiffy. I was hoping to wear that in inauguration, but that ain't going to happen. <laughs> so I got to figure out where I'm going to get to use it. I might just wear it for Thanksgiving. Um, we used to weave a nice tapestry of profanity. Okay, Beatles. <laughs> you know what, though? I tell you what, if we ever got called to, to duty, uh, we would have kicked some royal butt, man. I can tell you that. We were a fine-tuned machine, you know. Uh, you know, one of the things I I, I I think about a lot is um, when when we 
uh, used to deploy and get to an open, empty field and, and just set up all the communications. And then within, within a day, I mean, planes would be landing. And um, it's just amazing how we can, you know, we were, we were able, a bunch of young kids with multi, multi, multi millions of dollars worth of equipment that we could go to an empty field. And again, within hours, really uh, have, have a tower set up, have the, the runway would be up, the lights would be the radios. The, I mean, it was just amazing. As I look back and I'm, I think, geez, you know, we, it was just fun for us. But, you know, it, it came down to the, the training. It came down to discipline. It came down to responsibility. It came down to accountability. It came down um, to leaders that knew what they were doing. And um, as much fun as we had at times, uh, Beatles, gosh, I'm real proud of what, what we were able to do. Um, and uh, yeah, we never did get the call. Thank God, but you know I, we were ready. That's for sure. Pounding wooden stakes in the lava. Yeah, yeah, I remember, man. Gosh, too old now to go back. Who's gonna replace me as the chair? I. That's a good question, Kimo. Uh, we talked about that earlier as well. Um, who's your sit in his column today in the Garden Knowledge between Mason and Arrow? You know, I give. I don't know what who's your. Like, he writes. He writes his stories and he, you know, again, trying to create drama and uh, trying to, uh, I, I don't really, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I would guess that's probably who it's going to be. I, I, I don't participate in, in that. I, I purposely don't. I did speak to uh, a few of the, the incoming council members and, um, in fact, most of them. And I uh, just give them some advice that, you know, get together and uh, do what we did. Get together and, and uh, try to. Uh, figure out a way that you can can get uh, each member what as, as as best as you can um, something that they they want and and uh, I know they talked about the Sunshine Law in Hoosier's article. I want to make it very clear uh, to everyone here that um, gives any credence to Gary's articles. Uh, he mentioned that the Sunshine Law that the existing members uh, shouldn't or couldn't or illegally or whatever blah blah blah. Uh, we have an, a standing OIP, Office of Information and Opinion, that says the incoming council, the seven members of the incoming council, until they get sworn in as a body, they are not a body, uh, and that they can meet without posting a public meeting. And that's, otherwise, you'd never be able to get it done uh, until after the inauguration. And how the heck you do that? So uh, they're not violating the law, uh, and they should be meeting, and they should be discussing committees and they should be discussing council rules they should be doing all of that um, prior to the inauguration so uh, I know Mason is on here I'm definitely uh, you know know that we have a very competent group that's gonna at the end of the day we'll come out with the best best uh, possible mix uh, and and I, and I and I have total faith in that I really do we got we got some good people and I, I look forward. I look forward to to uh, you know. I can tell you, I won't be. Wa I might watch the first few meetings just to get a little feel of how this thing is going to go. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, they have a very important, serious job. And what we as a community need to do is help work with them, and not 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 become obstructionists. And the worst thing we can do is incite fear or anger or hate in the community. Well, we should be all working together to help our council members and our administration. So um, hopefully that'll happen. Uh, I, and I, and I, I, again, I think we have a good group. You know, at the end of the day, um, that is the best council because the people pick them. So whether you agree with that or not, I'm sorry, that's the way it is. We have the best mayor because the people pick them. And we can, we can argue, I think I, I do a great job, but at the end of the day, in our system, the, the people decide so at the end of the day, the right person wins because it was the people's choice, and I, and I, you know people gotta gotta accept that. And and from uh, right after the polls closed and those last results came out, the mode changes from competitors to partners, and and I mean that. And we, we gotta you know we gotta seriously do that. Mel, you must watch. You must watch. It's the best reality show on TV. Oh gosh, you know, uh, yeah. I, I think, I don't know. We'll see what happens, man. we we'll see what happens. Uh, Patricia Kramer. Oh, my goodness. Patricia Kramer, I got to tell you, thank you. You know, um, uh, like I posted, and I'm not going to go into detail, but uh, you gave us the best gift that, that uh, we could ever ask for in the campaign. And uh, for those of you that know, you know. 
again, I'm not going to, I'm not going to discuss it here, but um, I need you to know and your family to know that um, what you did for us, for our family was uh, the best thing that could have ever happened. In fact, uh, much more important in my opinion than, um, than, than the election. Uh, so thank you, Patricia and your entire family, uh, especially Mitchell. Um, gosh, uh, it's just amazing. And thank you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, what is that? Stop, please. What do you want me to stop, Raleen? <laughs> what do you want me to stop? I don't know. I cannot read your mind. You're in Chicago. If you're closer, if you're still in on the west side, I could I could probably figure out what you're saying. But uh, but anyway, it's six twenty six people. Um, what? The, oh yeah, God. I we thank God every day. You know, we 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 got we gotta pray. Pray for, for the world because uh, our world is falling apart, our country and every, everybody else, you know. Um, so, yeah, don't forget to you put your head down at night or in the morning, whatever you, depending on your shift. I still work at the hotel, by the way. And if you want to come stay at Timbers, let me know. We don't have a combine rate, but they do have a special right now, fourth night free. So if you pay for three nights, you get the fourth night free. And I think it's for the special, it's like 900 bucks a night. So. <laughs> Oh, oh, uh, spaghetti dinner. We, we're doing a mahalo. I'm not doing it. They're doing it. It's a mahalo, mahalo, whatever, spaghetti dinner. It's what day? Um, the 28th. 28th. I think it's next week. The following, the following week, Wednesday. Um, 5 to 7. 5 to 7 at our headquarters on Anchor Cove. Ten bucks. Come drive through. Pick up your plate. It's going to be John Apana's spaghetti. Uh, and it's going to be wonderful. Ten bucks. No need to cook. Come down and pick up for your, um, your family. Can I go wrong? And, um, and we have tickets. We have tickets. So uh, if you guys want, let me know. Message me is the best way. I'll get you the tickets. You can help us sell if you want. Um, it's a great, great. Spaghetti dinner, I can tell you that. John Apana, man, I've come to, to, to know that he's one of the best cooks on the island. I mean, this guy is fantastic, fantastic. I'll be singing at Timbers? Really, Bethany? Awesome, awesome. Sterling Yi, who? Tumua Masani Ai, congratulations. Uh, I know, I don't, the baby come already? No. Oh, okay, no more baby yet, but uh, congratulations, man. You guys are just like family to us, you know, I, the Hoonies and you guys just like family to us. And, uh, man, I love you guys, and I cannot wait to see that brute. That is going to be one. I can picture it now. NFL, baby. NFL. Um, Lions Zone Social this Sunday. Yes, you will see us there, Vaughn. You will see us there. Um, definitely. Will, why? What? I got the I got the invitation, so we're gonna yeah we'll be there we will be there. I can get more active with the Lions Club now. You know, I, I feel so bad because uh, I haven't been able to to really participate much. Only a few events, but now we'll have more time to to do that. Aloha, Sterling, all the way from uh, gosh, it's been a long time, Sterling. Jeez, all the way from Hawaii, Kai. Yeah, as soon as you get that baby tomorrow, send us a picture, man. Um, I don't know, what what team is he gonna play on? Do you know? Is it gonna be like the Patriots or the Rams or or I don't know. I know he's gonna play though. Definitely, he's gonna play ball. Alrighty, guys, it's six twenty nine. Anything else you guys have covered before we uh, sign off tonight? I could talk all night long, but we gotta save some material for next week. You know, we cannot blow them all up this week. But uh, it is a Wednesday and uh, hump day. Um, we will. We will be on next week, Wednesday at 5.30. It'll be the day before Thanksgiving, and we'll figure out what uh, I think um, Thomas is going to do an emu turkey for us. So we'll have some, we'll have a good turkey meal. And, you know, and we'll close with this is we got a lot of homeless people out here, and uh, it's amazing how much food we waste on Thanksgiving. So, you know, you guys all know where your homeless people live in your area. You know where they hang out. Don't throw that food away. Hoku Dusenberry Lee. If any of you know who that man is, um, he got a rough. He's young. He's young. But when he was a when he was a kid and a young adult, he really uh, made some bad decisions and and 
you know, he, he, he definitely had a, a very uh, interesting past. You know, he turned his life around, turned his life around, um, and, and he, he works. He's, he's clean and sober, and he takes food. He, he, he goes on Facebook, and he tells everybody, hey, if you got leftovers, I'm going to come by and pick it up. And, and then he gets all everybody's leftovers, and then he puts them into these food containers, like the takeout boxes. And then he takes the food to all the homeless people. He knows where they're all at. So Hoku Duesenberry Lee, if you don't have him on Facebook, hit him up. Um, because I'm sure he'll be asking again this year. And uh, so you got your leftover food or you, you got some extra pies. And last year, we, I think we gave him a, a, a few pies. And he puts, he puts the, the dinner together. And then he goes in his car. He has a little team of, 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 of people that have turned around their lives. And then he goes out to, uh, to the homeless people and takes the food. This kid does it because he wants to give back to the community that he once tormented. And, uh, and he does it again for Christmas. Christmas, he goes around and collects toys and gifts, and, and he does the same thing, and he takes it around to all the kids that, uh, that don't have uh, money or, or they're struggling. So I guess what I'm saying is that um, don't throw away your food. Um, put them in takeout boxes or it doesn't matter. And get them out to the homeless. Uh, feed them. You, you're going to throw them away. Why? You know, you, you know you're going to get leftovers. And you're going to get a lot of them. So um, let me just close with that because I know I'll see you guys again before Thanksgiving. But uh, start planning that. And again, Hoku Dusenberry, D-U-S-E-N-B-E-R-R-Y, Lee, L-E-E. -E. Uh, and in fact, I think he has a, his Hokulani or something. But if you just search that name, it'll pop up. Befriend them. Let them know that you want to help them out during Thanksgiving. He'll come to you in his, with his little daughter. He's always with his daughter. And he'll come pick up the leftovers. And then he will sort them together. There we go. Right there. Jay, thank you for typing them in. I guess I could have typed them in. Hoku does And if you guys know Hoku, uh, go give him a hug and tell him thank you for what he does. Uh, he's just one class act that uh, we just so appreciate and, and love. And again, um, that's, that's just an example, you know, how you give people second chances. And, and, and this guy turned his life around and now he's serving the community that he once uh, caused problems in. And uh, gosh, we love that kid. So Hoku Duesenberry Lee, let's make this the best Thanksgiving we can for, for all of our homeless and uh, less fortunate. We're going to run. We're going to run. We're going to run. Guys, I cannot tell you how much fun I have. I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Uh, we will do this until no one is on. <laughs> I hope we can do this for a little while longer. Um, every Wednesday at 530, and we'll see where this thing will take us. All right, you guys. Love you guys all. God bless. Have a great evening, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Aloha.